Hello everyone, this is Sunil here and I'm sure you are really doing great. So let's get started on this session. So what are we going to do today? Today we'll talk about installation. So uh, this is the first thing in the series. So let's uh, understand how we can install UiPath. First thing, you need to uh, uh, understand that UiPath is free. So how do you download it? Just go here and type UiPath. Just say community edition, right? So just go and say request your free download. Just go here. Uh, it's very simple. And all you need to do is just say uh, don't click don't click on this one, right? Just fill this thing here, whatever you want to fill it. Uh, one great thing is you can just give your Gmail ID. Okay, you don't need to give your company ID. Uh, it's specially important for freshers who who do not have any uh, corporate email ID, right? So you can just give your, uh, let's say, um, sunil at the rate of uh, gmail.com, right? So just give that thing, right? And just fill these details, that's it. And just say, I agree, and just say request. So when you do this, the software will be downloaded. You just need to, I will just show you very, very uh, quickly. I'll just fill anything, does not matter. Let's say X, Y, Z. I'll see you it's better if you fill proper information but uh, that's okay I'm just uh, just say request uh, just say something just request uh, done now see whatever email ID you have given if you go and check that email ID then you will see a link that's it. I mean, that's it. You don't need anything else. Just download it. Done. So once you download it, it'll be something like this. I will just show you. So it'll be like this. This one. UiPath Studio Setup. Right. So this one. Just double click install. Done. That's it. Very simple. You don't need to do anything. Just double click install. So once you install, it'll have something like UiPath. This one. UiPath Studio. That's it. So done. Just open it. Right. So this is the tool guys. So I think it's the most simplest uh, thing to do, right? So since we are using the free, uh, just one more thing. Uh, understand that this is a free software. If uh, you don't want to use it for commercial purpose and you will, you, I, I'm sure you are not using it for commercial purpose. Just click continue free. That's it. Done, right? So this is the first tutorial. I'll finish this session with this particular thing. In next session, we will talk about the message box. Thanks guys. Thank you very much.